Hello everybody, this is Grandmaster Max Sillingworth, and in this video I'm going to play a game on chess.com, as you might already recognize from the board, and it looks like we'll be seeing how to catch up the Elephant Gambit, and the reason the Elephant Gambit's not very good is because black basically loses a pawn, and even if he plays move like bishop d6, and still he doesn't really get enough compensation. So my opponent's trying to trick me by sacrificing everything. I wouldn't say it's a particularly effective strategy. For one thing, I can even play d4 and already attack his bishop to keep the initiative and still have the extra material. Because uh, one thing I noticed actually with many players is that when they're playing a much high rate player, they can get quite scared and instead of playing their usual opening, play something that's just not anywhere near as good. And sure, when he played c6, I was out of my theoretical knowledge. But the thing is, I already know what to do anyway. Uh, from being a, a strong player. So it's a much better chance to play something kind of a good opening that you know well, and that'll give you the best chance of success. I probably already have a checkmate actually in this position. Maybe you can uh, try to solve it before me. So I think I can play knight c4 if I'm not mistaken. I'm pretty sure this has to be forcing mate somehow after king d5. You know, they king out in the, the center like this. I think knight c3 is going to be the, the key move here. Um, maybe not to force mate, but at least as a, a way to ensure the victory. Well, now it would be so nice as a puzzle if there was a, a force mate at this point. So let's see if I can find one. If I don't find it in a certain amount of time, I'll just be practical and just sort of play the normal healthy move. I mean, queen f3 feels like it has to be forcing mate somehow in this position. And uh, I think actually it, uh, it might... So let's give it a go, just for the audience. So after knight c4, king c4, I'm going to play knight a3. And I think that does force mate in a few moves. Because then I, if king d4, I have mate in two. Um, You can try to figure it out yourself if you are so inclined. But we may get to see it on the board as well. Or at least I can show it afterwards anyway. If you're wondering why I seem a bit more excited than usual today, it's because I just went on a, a couple of walks around the block. And, uh, yeah, overcame my fear of getting mugged in the night, so that's always good to know. Fortunately for Black, his fear of getting made it is quite well founded in this case. Uh, so, yeah, he played King D4 instead. And then there's a question of where is the checkmate. I think that Queen D3 is going to force mate in this position. So let's play it Queen D3. Okay, someone's probably going to point out later I had a faster checkmate, but it doesn't matter as long as it's a mate. So bishop e3, just developing with a tempo. If it goes king b4, then queen b3 is mate. So that was uh, was easy enough. Uh, so yeah, that was a fun little king hunt. Uh, not sure what title I'll put for this video, but if you're watching, yes, chance are you've seen already. So maybe we can have a quick look at what to do if black plays king takes c4 instead of king takes d4. So my idea, as I mentioned, is to play knight a3 to stop the king running away. Uh, when you're going for a mating net against the king, you want to kind of run the king out of moves and club not let them escape so easily. King b4, I can mate in two with bishop d2, followed by queen to b3. That's a nice little checkmate. And if king d4, I'm going to set a little puzzle for you. How does white checkmate in two from this position? So it turns out that the key is to start with bishop e3. Okay, other moves are winning as well, but I think this one is the fastest. And then I have a nice mating pattern with knight c4. Just a really beautiful checkmate right there. So, uh, yeah, that shows how to deal with the elephant gambit. <clears throat> Maybe a final tip would be, if they go e4 and try to pin the, try to attack the knight, then we can pin the pawn with queen e2 and we'll get a very big advantage as white. As queen d5 runs to knight c3. And because of the fork and because of the pin, black will uh, lose material in this position. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the king hunt. And I'll see you in the next video.